Welcome back to the fuel section here. I'm your host, Joe Munoz. And today on this game show, we're going to be discussing the fuel system. Okay. All right. Hey, let's talk about this fuel system here. The fault lights. Of course, we're going to go through all the fault lights and extremely important. We're going to be talking about the auto logic. If there's anything that you've learned with all these videos so far, it's that auto logic is always primordial material. I know I'm probably repeating myself here multiple times already. Sound like a broken record. All right, but that is definitely coming. So if you're taking notes, we're gonna go through an incredibly important auto logic part here with this fuel system and all four, regardless of which one hits 1650 first, will open. Those transfer valves will remain open for the remainder of the flight and all outer tank fuel will transfer into the inner tanks. Those valves will only close again upon refueling once we're on the ground. Now, let's review that once more because maybe you're sitting there thinking, Joe, why do I got to go from center to inner, from inner to center, and then I got to go back to the outer tanks, right? Why am I going all over the place, man? Inner tank. So we're getting fuel from two separate isolated tanks, right? Now, once we transition through the critical phase of flight, how does the aircraft know that we've done that? Because the slats are retracted. Now we go back to burning center tank until we burn all the way down to zero, right? Or to the low level sensor to be you want to be 100% right on point here with your examiner, we burn to the low level sensor for five minutes, right? After the five minutes, we swap back to the inner tanks. 